were a bit of a fan of a friend of mine, Rudy Giuliani. Yeah. And what he yeah, did, he, what he and Bill Bratton, the cop, yes. did in New York, the broken windows theory. Yeah. When you look at crime in London today, it is disturbing, isn't it? Uh, it it's very disturbing. Uh, ironically, in 2000, we had a problem with crime. And, you know, I, I remember one of our slogans was, uh, if New York's mayor can cut crime, why can't London's? Mm. Um, and because I did feel that, that, well, I knew that was what Londoners cared about at the time. In the intervening two decades, if you like, it was less of a problem. So that when Boris, for example, finished his term, yeah. it wasn't particularly glorious, but it was didn't do much damage, to be absolutely no. honest. Um, crime was at a reasonably satisfactory levels. It wasn't, it wasn't heading the local news every night. Now it is, uh, with a mayor who, you know, sort of trumpets um, his you know, great sort of concern about this issue, but does absolutely nothing positive about it, apart from picking on Cressida Dick and firing her. Yeah. Now, you know, if you heard what, um, you know, the, uh, what's he called, what Tom Windsor's job, I forget what his job title is, but he's, yeah. he's, he's the man who actually, yeah. if you like, regulates yeah. police activity. He has been scathing about the way Khan acted in that case. And I'm sorry to say, as far as I'm concerned, Khan has literally nothing to be proud of in terms of the record of violence, particularly black on black violence among young black men. You know, I, I chair a charity down the Old Kent Road, one of the most deprived parts of London, where we get young people off the street. We do it by, op we, we offer them basketball and table tennis and, and general kind of support. Yeah. Get over 4,000 visits a month to this, to this good. place. Good. And I've always thought, that, you know, if you want to do something <coughs> about crime, then why don't you start by doing a lot more for the young people of this city who so mm. often are left standing on street corners well, maybe, thinking maybe about... You're, maybe you've got this all wrong, Steve. You see, real well, crime. Now, yeah. over there is the embankment. Yeah. Right. If you go along there at two o'clock in the morning, yeah, at twenty six miles an hour, yeah, you will get a speeding ticket. It seems to me that he, that, that the real criminals now in cars, London, anybody that wants to have a motor car. Um, I uh, think twenties plenty sounds like a great. It's a great sort of phrase. But it's pretty meaningless. Uh, and I'm absolutely straightforward about this. I think it's a complete waste of time and money. It absolutely takes, distracts efforts away from the real criminal activity in this city that we ought to be concerned about, which is the rising uh, advent of really serious violence against anybody, for example, getting out of a nice car. Targeted crime. Seen targeted crime yeah. is on the increase. Yeah. And for me, that's the real thing that Khan yeah. has done please, absolutely nothing please about. Slow, uh, please, please A-frames the other day.